Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex. And today we're sitting down for the video because I want to have an honest conversation with and about the community. More specifically, I want to talk about what I perceive to be what I see as and I get messages asking me about uh, a general negative reaction to almost every update lately. And I think I know the reason why. So I wanted to talk to you guys about it. I wanted to share my thoughts with you, get your thoughts on it as well. And maybe we can come to a better conclusion than we have currently. Because at the moment, although it's just a game and I don't want to take the game too seriously, I have been getting an uptick in messages from people that go through different community rev like uh, avenues, whether it's Twitter or Discord or the official forums, believe it or not. And they see a lot of negativity and a lot of sort of complaining and unconstructive criticism. And they're like, man, is, is the game is something wrong with the game? Is something wrong with the update? Is the character really bad? And my answer to all of those questions is no but somehow they still get that impression. So I think I'm gonna try and tackle why that is. And we're seeing it again now with Infinity Ultron. And so basically my theory is that the updates have been too good. <laughs> no, what I mean by the updates have been too good is we've been on a streak for over a year now of really good reworks. One of the best reworks we ever got was for Spider-Man, but we've gotten some absolutely superb reworks for Captain America Falcon. We had this insane Loki rework. We had an amazing Thor rework for its time. Sure, every character eventually gets outshined by another character. That's just the reality of mobile games. But even Ghost Rider had an absolutely outstanding rework for his time. The entire Black Order got really gorgeous reworks. Literally, it's hard to go through this list and find characters who didn't get amazing reworks. There are very, very few of them, like Dormammu or Black Panther. And for, you know, the rest of them, by and large, they got amazing upgrades. So why is that a problem? Well, it's sort of the issue of too much of a good thing. I think players uh, and content creators alike have started to struggle to recognize the more minute the, the more you know very specific and small differences between characters and if you go and ask someone okay can you tell me like how much better or how much worse is emma frost compared to adam warlock that answer is so difficult to give and you have to ask so many follow-up questions to the player to try to figure out whether they're going to use adam warlock or make get better use out of emma frost that it sort of reveals the truth like the the upgrades nowadays are so good and they're so similar that players really have too much choice. And when you have too much choice, right? When the, when the answer is not obviously in front of your face slapping you like, hey, just play with Jean Grey, just play with Jean Grey. When the answer is is very, very nuanced and, and, and there has a lot of different permutations, I think players get frustrated. And I think they get frustrated because they realize that ultimately it's not a competitive game and MFF isn't, although there are aspects of the game that can be competitive and you can always create competition yourself. You know, you walk into the kitchen and you just uh, just decide you're gonna pick a fight with your sister. You can do that, anybody can do that. But basically at its core, this is just a collecting game. And what I think the devs have done wonderfully is they've allowed us to play with most of the characters that you can collect. And that was the biggest criticism that we had of the game for a long time is that they only reworked the same characters over and over, and they only gave a very small number of characters a meaningful upgrade, and everybody else got left in the lurch. And that's not the case anymore. Is Carnage the best character in Marvel Future Fight? No. Is he the best combat villain? No. But is he good enough to use in 99% of content? Yeah, he absolutely is. And you could not say that about him uh, two years ago. Same thing goes for pretty much any character. And I think that is really what's causing, deep down, that's what's causing the reactions from the community. Because nowadays, if everything is A+, then A+, becomes the new, the new norm. So when Thanos gets a really good upgrade, or when Ultron gets an, like Ultron's upgrade is insane, right? A couple of years ago, people would be losing their minds over the value here. A regular bio sub, uh, selector character, like one of the easiest characters in the game to farm that you can just go over here and f not here. You can go over here and farm his bios for free, literally for free, got a uniform that puts him on par with like the top 30, top 40, maybe even top 50 characters. 
and a, and a year ago or, or, or two years ago, this, this uniform would have been met with open arms, right? But nowadays, people are like, well, listen, if it's not groundbreaking, then it's just going to go into the whatever pile. Because a couple of years ago, we basically we basically got two types of upgrades. We used to get upgrades that were either good, which means that they were amazing. Like, for example, Infinity War Bucky. Go back and watch the reactions to his rework, which in hindsight now his rework was not very good. But at the time, it was insane. Or we got upgrades that were absolutely trash. I, I can't even think of one at the moment, but you guys can definitely think of one if you go back and you and you look at some some past uniforms that is just like, what did they do to the... Okay, yeah, take, for example, Emma Frost. Like some of her uniforms in the middle, like what did they do to this character, right? From here to here. Upgrades like that, right? So those were basically the two kinds of upgrades that we were used to getting. But nowadays, we either get upgrades that are really good or, or busted. <laughs> they're either really good upgrades or they're busted. And very few upgrades are not very good or busted colossus being one of the few but even like mr sinister went from completely unplayable completely unusable to actually good you can actually go ahead and use your mr sinister in any piece of content that you want but that's not good enough for the players well it's not good enough for these players that are complaining i apologize to everyone else watching the video who doesn't complain you might be scratching your head at this point or you might be like you know preach alex you know I, that's what i like about this game that's why i'm invested in this game now more than ever because i can play with whoever i want rather than being forced to play with gene gray or forced to play with these three or four characters some of who are not even you know originally uh from like the the history of marvel way back when but that's sort of what i see as the issue could infinity ultron be stronger and i think he's really the the poster child for this this video and for the reaction lately could he be stronger he could be stronger yeah but it really is a much worse scenario right you basically have three scenarios when a game is pumping out updates as quickly as marvel future fight you have scenario a which is the scenario we're in right now where they're pumping out these updates and they are slowly gradually increasing the power level right yeah adam warlock is better than Cersei or Adam Warlock is better than you know maybe Ebony Ma or something like that he's better than Mephisto uh, for PvP but he's not like you know he's not leagues away he can still be beaten by characters released in the last year right you can still get some you can get still get wins here and there he's not eclipsing right you're not getting an eclipse every time a new character is released that's scenario A which is what we're in now scenario B is that they uh throw you know, they throw any sort of uh, relaxed sort of gradual increase out the window and they just start throwing insane power creep after insane power creep. And you know what? Some people do find that fun and then they get tired or their wallet gets tired and then they have to quit because if every new release character was going to just dunk everyone around them, this game would go at such a breakneck speed. If you think the game is fast now with new hot characters, it, it could get a lot worse, a lot worse. Uh, and then scenario C is the worst of both worlds, where they actually are releasing characters that don't do anything at all. And I think a lot of people confuse scenario C with scenario A. They're like, well, what does Ultron do that my current characters don't already do? He doesn't have to do something new for him to be good because the game itself isn't changing. The game modes aren't changing. So it's less about introducing new characters that are going to put all the other characters to shame and it's more about just bringing all like raising all raising the tide so that all ships can float that's the stage that marvel future fight is in there will come a time hopefully before the game inevitably you know closes its doors where we see the next power shift with maybe like tier four or something like that that could still be one two three years away and that will probably then refocus players you know motivation and hunger to, to build that next new god or whatever but i really like the era of marvel future fight that we're in right now the, the rework era where we're sort of we're, we're rebalancing the books because things had been out out of balance for so long like ultron was garbage thanos was garbage so many of these top tier sort of gods in the marvel universe odin etc were just straight up garbage and now they're not and that's dope so yeah if you've been feeling the same way, maybe I've shed some light on on that. Uh, and maybe if you have a, a, an alternative uh, viewpoint, you can definitely share that with us. But I do think that uh, it can be very frustrating at times when players log in and they just see 
automatically okay this character's not meta this character's not the best okay they're garbage it's 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 literally like a do or die mentality uh that some players have and it really brings down uh the hype for the rest of the players who are just trying to enjoy the update so yeah maybe this is gonna fall on deaf ears i don't know making a video complaining about people that are complaining is kind of dumb i know I, that's why i don't make many of these anymore but I just wanted to make this one in particular for all of you out there who are appreciating uh, the sort of renaissance that the game is going through. And maybe for some of those players who are constantly complaining to maybe try and look somewhere else for once for a change. You know, it doesn't always have to be about the next character is the best character and the next character is the next Spider-Man. A Spider-Man will come along once in a while and that's great for the game, but we can't have a new Spider-Man every update because it would honestly chase more players away from the game and that's not what we want right the more good characters we have that are competent the better it is for the game long term and the more fun you can have because you can just you know spin the wheel who do you want to play with today because the, honestly there's like 100 plus now that you can play with and have fun and actually be competitive with uh and be competent with rather than just a small group of like five or six uh, amazing characters and then everybody else is sliding into the garbage uh, one gradient at a time. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Rare second video of the day, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.